Today we are going to look at homogenization of milk, and we are going to look at what homogenization is, why we homogenize, and how to homogenize. So homogenization is the breakup of fat so that milk uh, at the storage does not have cream separation. A case at hand is when milk is left standing in a glass. The milk fat will normally come up, but for homogenized milk, the milk fat will not separate. So why do we homogenize the milk? The first reason why we homogenize the milk is to have no cream separation in milk. And this is important because the milk looks better, it looks whiter, and the fat is well distributed. The other reason is that the milk is creamier in taste. When you take milk, which is homogenized, it has a rich cream flavor. And then the last one is that the milk fat is evenly distributed, and therefore the nutrients associated with milk fat, such as fat soluble vitamins, are also well distributed. So how do we homogenize? We homogenize the milk by using a homogenizer. And we have two types of homogenizers. We have single stage homogenizer that uses high pressure, and double stage homogenizer that also uses high pressure, but homogenization is done twice. The principle of homogenization is to pass milk through the equipment under high pressure. So we use a high pressure pump, and we pump the milk into homogenizer, and then the milk is forced into a small orifice or space called homogenization valve. So what I represent here is a unit where homogenization takes place. The milk gets in, into the homogenizer, passes through the orifice, and when it comes out, it's already homogenized. And this homogenized milk has these advantages of no cream separation, creamier taste, and even distribution of nutrients. So what are the steps of homogenization? There are a number of steps, uh, five in number. The first step is to sterilize the homogenizer by circulation of hot water. This ensures that the homogenizer is free of microorganisms. If you fail to, homo uh, to sterilize your homogenizer, then the resultant milk may have microorganisms, and this milk will not stay for long. It's going to get spoiled by the action of microorganisms. The next step is to set the homogenization temperature. Why are we setting the homogenization temperature? It's because we want to destroy the enzyme that can attack the fat after homogenization. And this enzyme is destroyed at the temperature which is 60 degrees. So we set the right homogenization temperature. If you don't set the right temperature, then the enzyme repase will be active in milk and we will destroy your milk. The third step is to set the homogenization pressure. We have two pressures. The first pressure is high pressure. The high pressure will have effective homogenization, but the resultant milk will have clumping or coming together of the fat separated. So you have to homogenize a second time at a lower pressure. So you set your homogenizer at 2,000 400 pascals per square inch, and you also set a lower temp pressure of 800 PSI, and you are ready to go. Then the next thing to do is to learn the milk uh, through the homogenizing unit uh, so that the milk gets homogenized. You cannot homogenize the milk unless you put it into a homogenizer. So you have to learn the milk through the homogenizing unit and out of homogenizing unit, you get the homogenized milk. The homogenized milk, therefore, need to be tested to see whether efficiency has been achieved. And this is done by establishing the amount of fat in the top layer, or uh, the 10% the top layer in your container after storage for 48 hours, and also the 10% of the bottom part of the milk you determine the butter fat content, and the difference should not be more than 0.1% fat. So now, 
we look at how you can maintain the homogenizing unit or what we have called homogenizer. The first thing you need to do is to clean the homogenizer after every use. The second thing you need to do is to replicate, replicate the moving parts. And the third one is to keep the unit in a level ground. So I do hope that you have now understood the principles behind homogenization of milk and what you need to do to homogenize your milk. Thank you very much.